Quinn from Cascadia Expeditions. I'm going to explain to you today how to use a kayak paddle. Uh, first off, there's a couple different parts to the paddle. There's the shaft, and that's the part that you hold on to to do your kayaking. And there's the blade of the paddle that includes uh, a concave surface here and a convex surface on the back. If you, um, when you're paddling, you want to always have the concave surface pulling against the water. So when you first get your paddle, you can line it up by getting your hands um, uh, equidistant apart. And you can get your buddy to help make sure that your elbows are at a more or less an L shape, a right angle here. And then you want to get your knuckles lined up with the top of the blade um, on the right side for these offset paddles. As you can see with this paddle, it's the angle of the blade is a little bit different on each side and that's to help with aerodynamics so that as you're paddling long, especially on a windy day, the, uh, the blade of the paddle can be slicing through the air instead of pushing against the air. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier and more efficient. So I have my arms lined up and equidistant. I don't want my hands to be too far apart because that's going to be really hard to paddle or too close together because that's going to um, minimize my efficiency of the stroke and make it harder. So they're equidistant and my, I have my knuckles lined up with the top of the right uh, blade. That way I can grip with my right hand and paddle while my left hand maintains a loose grip and allows the shaft to rotate ever so slightly in my hand. So you can see that I don't, I'm not holding on here or else I'm not going to be able to uh, to, to change the angle of that blade. So with my right hand, I have a nice, you know, not too tight, but fairly tight grip. And then with my left hand, I can allow it to rotate so that every time I'm about to put the blade in the water, um, I have the concave surface um, the whole way entirely in the water. I can show you here. So that I get the maximum amount of um, water pulled. So as I'm sitting in my boat, when I try to do a forward stroke, what I want to do, I'm sitting down <laughs> in my boat and I want to put the blade of the paddle down by my toes and I want to make sure it's the entire way in the water, right? Almost the whole way of the blue part of the blade. And then I can use my body and my upper arm to pull and rotate and push with that upper arm. So as I come, as I finish my um, forward paddle stroke on the right side, my right hand is gonna rotate so that the left blade is ready to enter the water with the maximum amount of concave blade um, pulling against the water. Thanks, Quinn. You're welcome.